Well, hello, I'm Dylan John, and like we do on this channel, let's cut out the fluff and jump into the good stuff. There are two instances where you might hear random audio that does not appear to be visible as an audio track on your timeline. The first one is a simple fix. Listen to this bit of the video. I don't even taste much game, game taste. Fine, not very. Well, how come we hear dialogue here when there is no audio track underneath? The likely reason, if we select this clip to the left, and either control right click and hit expand audio or press the keyboard shortcut control S, you'll notice that the audio of this clip continues on while the video that it's connected to does not. You could trim this back if you wanted, or you could extend out the video portion of the clip, or if you like this L cut as it's called, you could leave it and then just hit control S to suck everything together so your timeline is nice and neat. The second instance happened to my girlfriend recently and I was a bit perplexed by it. I don't see any of the reviews mentioned this rush. Doing that first method and expanding the audio of the surrounding clips was doing nothing. In fact, the audio track that we were hearing was from much later in her video, so it didn't really even make sense. So the solution I found was this. Head to your index, which is basically just a list of all the different clips and titles and different presets that you have in the order that they're positioned on your timeline. It's a great way to find things if you need to. So to make things easier to see, we can switch to audio, so only the audio tracks are shown. And let's look at our timeline to determine when this phantom audio starts playing. So for this example, it's close to the 40 second mark. And as we can see, there's this audio clip right here in the index that's out of place. When we select it, it should be selected at this point on the timeline, but it's nowhere to be found. We see that this preparation voiceover is where it should be, but this audio track is literally a ghost on the timeline. Luckily though, when you have this audio track selected in the index, that means that it's also selected wherever it's placed on the timeline. So just by clicking it in the index and pressing delete, we can delete that audio track from the upside down world and your timeline will play back without it. And now that your timeline sounds clean, watch this video to see a few awesome tricks to help make your footage look a little less boring. You'll like it, I think, I hope. <laughs> Thank you for watching and have a good day.